Three of Swords. So we're starting the new year off with some frustration. Uh, you may have some kind of emotional pain that you're dealing with. Um, maybe there have been some harsh words exchanged between you and another person, or maybe the holidays, you know, um, highlighted your sense of loneliness or being alienated, separated from loved ones, perhaps. Maybe you're dealing with some kind of painful news or rejection or you're just feeling a sense of grief. So you may be very irritable, maybe very stressed out this week. For some of you, you're focused on health concerns, perhaps, you know, addressing matters connected to the heart in a physical sense, dealing with heart disease or perhaps maybe you're facing some kind of surgery. But this is a week where you're really having to get with yourself and readjust what your focus is, what's important. Because it may be that you've been emotional and haven't seen something clearly, and so that poses a challenge to you looking at something in a practical manner. It may be something that is even threatening an agenda that you have. Some of you, maybe you were involved in some kind of negotiation or you were waiting for some kind of communication and that has sort of disintegrated. And it's also pushed you in a way where you, you've really had to wake up to a reality that may be unsettling. For some of you, maybe this has to do with a legal settlement or a legal matter. Uh, perhaps there's some decision about splitting something three ways, or it could be a time frame that's important, three weeks, maybe uh, something that occurred three weeks ago or something uh, is slated to happen three weeks in the future or something is going to take three weeks to play out. It's a week where maybe you're kind of expecting some bad news, um, given certain circumstances. And so when it finally does arrive, you know, it it doesn't quite have the effect, uh, the power that it might have held had you not expect it, expected it. You may just be relieved that now you know what it is, where you stand, what's going on, so that you can go ahead and move forward and change your course. But if it's taken you off guard, taken you by surprise, uh, you may be very disappointed. Maybe you were hoping for a particular outcome or you were expecting something different of a person or a situation. And because it didn't play out the way you envisioned, it's now a challenge for you to cope with that. It may be, again, something emotional in nature, something that was said, something that was done, some kind of betrayal, an ending, some kind of last-minute cancellation that, you know, you weren't prepared for. But swords are also about your thoughts, your communication, and perhaps you really have to look at where maybe you're sabotaging your, yourself. Maybe you're having some fears and you're getting in your own way. Or you're having your own private pity party. Uh, and so you really have to look at where you're spending your time. What are you giving energy to? Uh, what are you trying to apply your talents toward? What are you using your emotions for? And Perhaps in some cases you realize that you've been setting yourself up for failure because maybe you've been putting in a half-hearted effort or you're coming up with schemes or shortcuts that you think will pay off and they end up going nowhere and then you feel disappointed. So something, you know, some kind of delay, loss, disappointment that is rooted in a person or your talents, or your beliefs, uh, are, are the source of something because you either over or underestimated. So 
this is a week where, again, you really have to get back to self, the source of your frustration, um, and where perhaps you need to come up with a, an alternate course of action. <music>